You are late, Prince Kaelthas. I thought you elves prided yourselves on punctuality. It could not be helped, Lord Garethos. We ran into a group of night elves from across the sea. I am not interested in your fanciful excuses. You elves are here to serve the Alliance. Thus you will obey my commands to the letter. Is that clear? Yes, Lord Gap. Now, the undead have begun a new offensive to retake Dalaran. Their primary strike force marched south through Silverpine, but we managed to halt its advance at the base of the mountain. My men are ready to fight, my lord. When shall we leave for the front? We will be leaving immediately, but your people will be staying here. Our scouts report that a second strike force may be heading this way from the east. I need to the outlying observatory so that we can monitor that region. But my lord, we are warriors, not- You have your orders, Prince Kael'thas. I trust your elven ears heard them clearly enough. Move out! Insolent son of a... Let's get this over with. Greetings, Prince Kale. I bring word from Grand Marshal Garethos. What news from the front? Apparently... The observatories you repaired detected a large undead force massing nearby. Lord Garethos has commanded that you crush the undead before they can march on Dalaran. That doesn't sound too difficult. Unfortunately, your forces may be a little thin. You see, Lord Garethos has also ordered that all foot soldiers, cavalry, and supplies immediately. You men, move out! This is preposterous. Am I to assault the undead with nothing but sticks and harsh language? The Grand Marshal has great confidence in your... abilities. Be creative. Garethos. I'm starting to hate that man. They've taken over our outlying bases. We're completely surrounded. Those bases are lost. We'll just have to improvise. Issued idea, Prince Kale. We've come to join your fight against the vile dead. Greetings, Lady Vash. I would welcome your aid gladly, but the commander I serve does not approve of your kind. I do not see him here sharing your peril. Let me bolster your forces with my own. A brethren will surely fall. What you say is true, but I... I accept your offer, Vash. Good. Let's get to it, then. You have my thanks, lady. This victory would not have been possible without your aid, though I fear I may have doomed myself by accepting it. The human you serve trusts no race but his own. His sense of honor runs no deeper than his tolerance. It is loyalty and duty that bind me to him, and to this failing alliance. But as distant as our ruined homeland, all I know is that my brethren and I hunger for something more. Then perhaps, young Kale, it is time to find a new path to power and glory. I can't explain it exactly, but... Ever since our homeland was destroyed, my brethren and I have felt empty, almost drained of our spirit. There is a... a has hardened our hearts. I know this hunger, Kale. Like us, your people are addicted to magic. It flowed through your veins for over 10,000 years. And now, with the corruption of your land and the sunwell that empowered you, we have been cut off from our power, from our birthright. Without a new source of magic, my people will surely die. There are other founts of world, Kale. Demons, for instance. You speak of madness, my lady. We will never be that desperate. Your aversion is understandable, but still. Prince Kale, Grand Marshal Garethos has arrived. He has brought a full battalion with him. 
Damn. Bosh, you'd best leave. I cannot guarantee your people's safety. Naga warriors! Forget about them! So, Kale, you've shown your true colors at last. I knew you were in league with those serpents. Now I have all the proof I need to execute every traitorous one of you. Please, my lord, spare my men. It was my decision to death. I never trusted you, vain, glorious elves. It was a mistake to accept you into the Alliance in the first place. Now, at long last, you'll be dealt with appropriately. Take them away! Sunrise can't get here fast enough. These elves give me the creeps. Don't worry. This prison was built by the Kirin Tor to keep their pets from getting loose. The elves' magic is useless inside those enchanted cells. Greetings, Kale. I assume we're not too late. On the contrary, Vash. Your timing is impeccable. Once again, I am in your debt. But even if we free my brethren, there is nowhere to run. Garethos' forces outnumber us ten to one. You stand at a dangerous crossroads. You can either stay here and be slaughtered by human hands, or choose a darker path to freedom. What is this darker path? Above us stands a portal, a gateway that leads to other worlds. Yes, I know it. The Lich, Kalfazad, opened it to bring Archimond here. Yes. My master Illidan awaits us on the other side of that portal. Lead your people to him, and he will forge you a new destiny. He will sate your people's burning hunger. Side with a rogue demon, or lead my people to their certain deaths. There's... We'll have to free my lieutenants first. They'll be able to rally the others while we assault the exit. As you will. We can't take them alone. We don't have to. We can loose these creatures on them. You've gone as far as you're going to go, Prince Kale. Make it easy on yourself. You serve the Kirin Tor well, Kassan. But the old order has passed away. My people and I are leaving this damn prison, one way or another. It's a shame to see a good wizard gone bad. Do what you have to do, lad. Assembled, Bosch. Now all we need to do is reach this portal of yours. Hold, and... good prince. We'll need to keep the portal open long enough to usher everyone through. But Garethos' forces will likely attack it before we can make our escape. Then I will hold him at bay. I'll buy you all the time you'll need. <laughs> 